practicing with that, that permission and allowance, you know, the permission to give yourself over so completely that you can just live in happiness and, and, uh, and suffering is optional, you know, you don't have to take a route of pain and suffering, you know, those, I mean, the spirit can still use contrast experiences, but actually, you know, why not be a happy learner? Why not be one who's voluntary and willingly just saying yes to God over and over and over? You have just a day of yeses to God. Make it a day of full yeses to God. You know, we were talking about this morning uh, rules for decision in, in the course, and you decide the kind of day that you want and say to yourself, if I make no decisions by myself, this is the day that will be given me. Well, that's really practical. That's like the first two commandments in the Bible wrapped up into one kind of one-two punch. And actually, you can do this by just becoming 100% intuitive. You don't have to logically try to figure it out. I know a lot of us came through uh, a lot of training and logic and a lot of intellectual training. Both Jennifer and I had quite a bit. and and. And we had to come out of that. We had to come into a place of absolute intuition to, to maintain this experience. Because it's not something that you will find intellectually. Uh, the in intellect is a construct, like many other constructs, that just has to get transcended in the end. And it's not like logic is, is not some, a tool that you can use, because anyone who studied logic knows that the logic depends on your first premise. If you have a faulty premise in the logical system, then your whole system goes off. And if you have a belief system in separation, like we were talking about a dualistic belief system that's down at the bottom of that logical system, then it will seem to generate a world and a belief system of falsity that has no truth to it at all. And when you surrender that and you take something like to have, give all to all, uh, and you have that at the core, giving, love, at the core of your logical system, then everything proceeds beautifully from that. It's very systematic, it's almost scientific, uh, we could say. It is scientific if you have love at the core. So, um, there's another line that I like from this the course, it's helpful, and it says, to the Holy Spirit, Ownership is sharing. We were not raised with that idea. We have had a different idea of ownership. Uh, more like ownership is for keeping, <laughs> or ownership is for protecting, or ownership is for possessing. And really that belief system has nothing to do with the truth. It, that when we let go into divine trust, into the mana from heaven, uh, then that's where the joy comes in. You can even watch the creatures of here in Hawaii as they just go through their day. Birds chirping, animals playful, uh, turtles swimming, dancing in the ocean, dolphins, whales. You know, there's a, a lot of symbols of, of be happy, be free, just be in the flow of the source uh, and enjoy life. And actually, when you start to get into this other belief system in ownership, possession, kind of holding on. Welcome. Let's go have a room here. <laughs> that we, when we get into the flow of love, then everything comes our way. You know, everything comes our way, without exception. You just go through the day, yeah, yeah, it's just all bright, it's all shiny, it's all reflecting that love. <laughs>